I mean, every day I wanted to take a lot of pictures and I, and I take mental pictures every day. Like I, I'm seeing so beautiful stuff every day yeah. when I'm driving my car. Hello, my people, and welcome to another episode of Sit, Sip, and Chat. My name is Glenda York of GCY Initiative, and Sit, Sip, and Chat is basically where we sit with different persons in the community, and we have a chat about what they have going on. Today, I'm sitting with Tom of Friendly Books, of the Friendly Books. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, nice. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. So, as you guys know, before we go into our sipping and our chatting, we're first gonna talk about where we are. Today we're again at Gray Bay Studios located on Back Street. If you want to have a production done, whether it be big or small, whether you're a private company or you're a creative that just wants to have something done, definitely make sure you contact Gray Bay Media. You can contact them at graybaymedia at gmail.com or at plus one seven two one five four two seven eight. Five, seven. And with that, I'm going to go into our guest today. As you guys know, I like to do a little bit of a background on our guest. I got some information about Tom that I'm going to share with you and also with the Friendly Books as well. The Friendly Books is a young publishing house started by Thomas and his wife, Alexandra. Thomas is a graphic designer by trade and art director with over 25 years of experience. And 10 years ago, Thomas and his wife decided to move from France to St. Martin to begin a completely different life. Since then, he's been on the island and he has worked with Discover Magazine, Sotheby's. How do you pronounce that? Sotheby's. Sotheby's? Yeah. Sotheby's, <laughs> La Semana, Carimo, and the Dutch and French tourism offices. In 2020, the Friendly Books was founded and it's meant to be a publishing house dedicated to St. Martin and its people. Together, Thomas and his wife have produced six beautiful books showcasing the island's beauty and cultural richness. And guys, definitely I've looked at these pictures. I'm a person that likes to look at older pictures to see where the island was compared to where we are now. And those pictures are definitely nice. <laughs> this, it's a bigger word, but nice is the only one that comes to mind. Great. I take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to just go into the conversation one time. Cool. Because it took me a while. I found the friendly books online, mm -hmm. but it took me a while before I found Thomas. <laughs> yeah. Because Thomas... It's really hard to find. ...stays in the background. Yeah. So since I have you on camera, we're going to take the opportunity. Who is Thomas? <laughs> how, how did Thomas evolve to here? And also include the part about being a DJ since you told me that before. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. Hello, Glenda. So, I'm Thomas. I'm French. Mm -hmm. You can hear that, I, I guess. Um, so, yeah, well, I'm, I'm originally from a small town near the sea in France. And we, I moved to Paris and I stayed for like 20 years. So I lived about 20 years in Paris and I start my career of graphic design in Paris mm -hmm. and after 20 years I felt that I wanted to completely change the way I, I was living and little find the way I grew up in a small town near the sea um, and I discovered St. Martin completely randomly. I visited a friend and I'd never been to St. Martin before and I just loved the energy and the diversity and the it was really, really nice mm -hmm. discovering this island. So after I, I came two or three times more on vacation. Yeah. And the last time I really visited the island differently with the different eyes to see how people live, if it's any work opportunity for a guy like me. Mm -hmm. um, and with my wife, Alexandra, we decided to change everything and we okay. came here. Okay, we're going to go more into that. Yeah. a little bit later so then because you are a graphic designer and an art yeah. director how did that because most people when they're younger 
they whether they like drawing, they like taking pictures, observing the environment around them. How did you get into graphic design and art direction? Um, I I did some intern when I was really young because um, uh, um, person in my family work in the in the communication industry, the marketing industry. So he introduced me in all the different steps of the publishing and graphic design and photography. So I make some internship for like three weeks to one month in each department. So I spend some time with a photographer, with a graphic design in a print company. So I discover all these different areas uh, and I just felt in love with graphic design. Uh, so I work for an entire summer to buy my first computer and I just learned myself because it was back in the days, a long time ago and there was no tutorial on the internet, there was nothing, <laughs> so I just read the book and just... Taught yourself from scratch. Yeah. And I made a lot of mistakes at my beginning, but I was just loving it. I, I, I always love working with images, I'm, I remembering cutting some stuff on the magazine and 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 glue mm -hmm. on posters and stuff like that so i always love working with images so yeah i started like that and i learned more and more and when i moved to paris i have some great opportunity and i met some other graphic designers so i learned from them oh, nice. a lot and yeah you took off from there yeah okay awesome and i'm still learning today a lot. Because there's different people in your environment, so there's more yeah. things to learn. Yeah, and there is a lot of interesting stuff now on YouTube and on the internet. You can learn every day some different stuff. Nice. Okay, and I definitely want to know, what has been the biggest um, transition from Paris to St. Martin as far as working? What would you say is the biggest difference? Um, on, on the work? Mm -hmm. It's not so different. I mean... The only thing, when I moved in St. Martin, I had 20 years of experience in Paris with a lot of different work and challenges. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I arrived here 10 years ago, we were not so many graphic designers on the island. Okay. So I guess people like the freshness I bring yeah. from Paris and from what I learned. So really really quick i had some really good opportunity to work with some good companies oh, nice. uh, so that's the only difference because in paris i was like mixing thousands of good good there were less designers, here so you were able to stand out a little bit more yeah, when you came down. exactly okay so we're learning about tom we're going to learn about the friendly books in a bit but so far we've been learning about tom we're gonna go we're gonna have a sip we'll be right back have your sip while we're gone we'll see you in a bit New episodes premiere every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. on TV15 and across our social media platforms. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? But, but sorry, no sir. But they got this game tonight and I can't miss it. Me and my boy, we gotta watch the game, you know? So I bring in this in, you check? All right, let me get, let me watch your leg, bro. Watch your leg. <laughs> sir, sorry. Why so difficult? Look, I'm watching TV here on my phone with the Tell TV Plus app. You really gotta upgrade. Okay, so Mr. tell me about the Tell TV Plus. You know, okay, I hear about this. Okay, so once you apply for Tell TV Plus, okay. you can enjoy it anytime on the go. Anytime? Anytime. On the go? On the go. You simply download the app, log into your account at any time, sit back and enjoy. You will never have to miss your match. Yo, bus driver, take me back to tell him now, please.
And we are back, my people. I've had a sip. Tommy, you've had a sip? I had a sip, you're, yeah. You're but fresh? we didn't cheers. Oh, you're right. That was very rude of me. <laughs> See, so I hope you guys cheers with us, had your sip. We're going back into the chat. Okay, so we're going to talk about the friendly books. So then, why are you living here? You're doing a graphic design for all of these different companies. Then how did you get to deciding that you wanted to create a publishing house? Mm, I think it, it was like a, I, I, I work my whole life for different clients mm -hmm. and I always work for somebody. And when you're a graphic designer, I guess you're, I, I was freelance since like almost 20 years. But so I work for myself, mm -hmm. but I always work for somebody else. Yeah. So I guess I always had this goal to do something by my home. Um, I completely randomly, I work for different magazines. So I really understood how to uh, produce and publish a magazine, but it was always for somebody else. So I had the skills already to yeah. publish uh, the magazine, but I, I never feel the courage to do it by my own. Uh, and yeah. since we live on the island, we just felt in love with the island. I mean, every day I wanted to take a lot of pictures and I, and I take mental pictures every day. Like I, I'm seeing so beautiful stuff every day yeah. when I'm driving my car. Someone sitting on a, on a bench, uh, little boys or girls crossing the street, a palm tree, blue sky, the sea. I mean, every day I saw something beautiful. So I really want to capture that and make something. And, and I always wanted to participate and be part of the island, you know, bring something to, to the island. island. So during the COVID, mm -hmm. like everybody, everything stopped. <laughs> and I was, we were, was like at home and waiting for, I don't know. Something to happen. Yeah. And after watching a lot of movies and, and waiting and uh, cleaning my house and everything, um, we, we think with my wife, maybe it's time to do something. And a friend of mine, a photographer, uh, Donovan, uh, which is Dono a 6 m on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I follow him as well. Yeah. Which is a good friend of mine. Um, talk to me about this idea of vintage photograph because he, he saw, I guess, the same book on, in St. Bart. Mm -hmm. And he said, maybe that could be a good idea. So I just, I had the time, you know, it was during the COVID, so nobody was working. I was mm -hmm. doing nothing at home. So I just, yeah, let, let's do it. So I just try to reach my closest contacts I know mm -hmm. from the island. And then I expand and they give, they give me some names and, and contact information. So I start digging and visiting people and contacting some people. So was this your first book that you published? Yeah, so this is the first, first ID okay. uh, doing. Um, it's not a history book because mm. I, I didn't want to do a history, history book because I didn't know the, the island so well at the time. Yeah. I was really focused on photography because that's my world and that's what mm -hmm. I, I do. Uh, so I met a lot of people during two years yeah uh, and I gather around 1,000 pictures then I select them classify mm -hmm. uh, clean some of them uh, because I try to find original pictures on paper yeah um, so it was a long very very long journey and I met some uh, postcard collectors some photographers some family of photographers uh, or just some or just some random people who have good pictures of the island. And he just collected all of the pictures of yeah. them together. He has 200 and technically nine, 209 pages yeah. of pictures of St. Martin back in the day. And of, there are about 400 pictures in, in the book. Yeah. It's not 60s, chronological. 70s. Yeah. It's not chron chronological because it was hard. I, I didn't have the same amount of pictures during different decades. Yeah. So I didn't want to start from a date and then have like a, a, a gap, you know, yeah, between decades. Yeah, and then you have small, a small amount for one and then a yeah. bigger amount for another. So I just classified them on theme, mm -hmm. like beach, Marigo, Dutch oh, yeah. Child, Fiddlesburg, uh, fish, carnival, stuff mm -hmm. like that. 
And I like the idea that you can start from the beginning, from the end, from the middle. It's like a random photography you book. So you just dig in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy because I didn't want to, like I said, to do a story book. It's, it's, for me, it's really like a photography book of yeah. the end. But photography... But it is, the, it, it is of the history too. as well. Yeah. Because and when I look at it, I see the history of the island. Exactly. A lot of pictures that I may not have seen before, a lot of places that I may not have known existed. Exactly. I have in, you have in the book. And what I did like about the book, which we talked about off camera, is that you gave credit to everyone that you got yeah. the pictures It was from. really important for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I work with two person who helped me to make the caption, mm -hmm. to have the correct location, the correct date. Okay. And of course, to get the name of the photographer or mm -hmm. the publisher, if it was a postcard. I get all the authorization for every pictures I use. Uh, there, there are so many pictures I couldn't use because I couldn't reach the people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I decided to not use them. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was important for me to have specific uh, information. And the, and the bonus on the book is like, I reached some St. Martiners. Mm -hmm. And I asked them to talk about a specific image and who brings memory to, to them. So it kind of brings some history to the book because they share some stories. Yes. Well. So you have about 12 to 15 stories oh, nice. about people who live on the island and who share some memories. And also good memories. The, per the personal effect, which then will hopefully is relatable to other people as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. And that was just the first book. We are going to, again, we're going to take a little break. We're going to come back and we're going to touch on some of the other books that Tom has published under the Friendly Books. Stay tuned. And we are back. We are still talking to Tom. We're going to get into these books now, though, because he has one, two, three, four, five, six books, like we mentioned, that have been released under the friendly books. We talked about the vintage photography. This was one. So this was one, but it was also one of three. So we had three published at the same time. Yeah. So we had the vintage photography. We had Cuisine Creole. And we also had photography of St. Martin, St. Martin. Yeah. And I believe this one is featured different yeah, for, photographers. Yeah, fucking local photographer. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's like, it was like, a, it's just like a portfolio mm -hmm. of 14 photographers, local photographers. I asked them to take pictures of their own or to share some of their uh, favorite images. Mm -hmm. And I gave them about 12 pages of space to showcase oh, nice. their picture. So mm -hmm. it's like you enter the, each universe of each artist every time. Uh, and I, I, we did portrait of each photographer at Cameron Iman studio. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is like a, it was a, like a bonus book for me, you know, it was like so fun to do it and to be able to showcase the talent of... Uh, what was the reception when you asked them to take part in the book? Uh, they were pretty nervous. Yeah, they were. They, yeah, they, they, they were really happy. But I gathered them all in the same day to doing the photo shoot, mm -hmm. and it was fun because I saw that the, this day they understood the the value of the project and the uh, the ambition of the project. So they were like, "Ooh, uh, I have to, you know, I have, you have to, to take part." Yeah, yeah. But then you guys are also a customer of being behind the camera. So to sure. be in front of the camera is an adjustment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it was really fun. And okay. I, I love this book. We have the Cuisine Creole. Yeah. So what is the Cuisine Creole? So it's basically a, a, a recipe book, mm -hmm. but we add a twist uh, because a lot of recipe books exist already on the island and in the French Antilles and, and generally in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So the idea was it's it's a mix between a recipe book and a 
in the images journal of the unconscious because we invite ourselves into their kitchens into the kitchen oh, cool. so we ask the people to make their favorite recipe but to be able to come to their home and shoot them do cooking the recipe for for us Oh, that's nice. So it's a mix between we, we did the portrait of the chef, mm -hmm. and most of the chefs are not professional. They're just people who are like passionate food. about food and cooking. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. It was once again a way to celebrate the island and, and the, the uniqueness of the island. And yes. That's cool. And then we have two of those. I don't think I'm going in the correct order, but we're just okay. with it. So this is the following, mm -hmm. because we just love to do this project. We spend a full day with the the person doing the cooking and talking and sharing some good memories of the island. So yeah. we just redo it two years after the first one. So this is the second one. And yeah, and I think we're going to do for a third edition because yeah. it's, yeah, it's endless. I mean, and every time people say, oh, you have to call this person, this person, this person she can cook for you. Oh. And this is also the Sweet Saint Martin. It's also a following of the photography book. Okay. Because it's showcasing this time all about 30 photographers of the okay. island. Um, but the difference between the, the yellow one, the photography, mm -hmm. it's everything is mixed. There is no chapter for each photographer, every oh, picture. Okay. And it's just a postcard book of Saint Martin. These are really nice images, though. And then I think this is the last one, correct? Yeah, so this is more like a personal and artistic project. I work with, since I arrived, I work pretty fast with Cameron Ayman. I, mm -hmm. uh, I met maybe one year after I moved to Saint Martin. Okay. Uh, and we just, you know, have a good feeling together. And I follow his work. And he did a personal project for two years. He, he shot every month during the full moon, uh, so at night, mm -hmm. only with the light of the moon uh, during two years. Yeah. So every month he went on a shoot, he brings someone with, with him and he, he starts creating something. He didn't know before the shooting what's going to happen. Uh, so he did a first exhibition uh, one year after he finished mm -hmm. and I just love what he did. So we spoke about it and we decided to publish the entire project. So uh, there is two years of photography, of photography uh, made by Cameron Ayman and you, he had also poems, poetry, poetry from people of the island. I have poems in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really proud. And it's a, it's a really, very limited book. We only printed 300 copies of this okay. one. So if you want an exclusive, exclusive one, then this is the one to get since it's yeah, the exactly. least of all. Yeah. So get them <laughs> while they're available. Once they're done, they're done. <laughs> if you want one, definitely make sure to check that out. So we have six books. Six books, yeah. And I'm happy because we wanted to show the spectrum we can do mm -hmm. on the island, you know, between old photograph to cooking to postcard pictures or some more artistic uh, project. Um, so yeah, uh, we're really proud to have this entire collection of different features, but the, the, the same goal is to celebrate, you know, the, the island happened. and the talent of the island. So then besides the Creole cooking, are there any more books that you have in mind that you want to create? Yeah, I have a project now that I'm starting, but it's really, really the beginning mm -hmm. and it's a little bit of the following of the vintage photograph. Okay. So, but it will be more about people this okay. time. Because now that people know our work better, I guess we will be able to open some more doors and, and have access to more uh, intimate and private features. Mm -hmm. uh, because it was a little bit frustrating at the first time when I did the vintage photograph books that nobody knows me and yeah. know my work. So. A lot of people say no, and of course I don't blame them, it's all right, uh, because they didn't know me at the time. But when I contact them after I publish, I show my work and they say, okay, you can, you can come back and we can work together. So now I'm really, I really want to do something more about, uh, yeah, people of St. Martin, but 
to celebrate the uh, the old uh, person and the old photograph of okay. Saint-Martin. Nice. So no more landscapes, but more about the people. people. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm going to look forward to that one yeah. as well. <laughs> so for anyone that is interested in the books, interested in the friendly books as a publishing house, or just want to get in contact with you, how do they get in contact with you? Um, you can go on the website. It's thefriendlybooks.com. Mm -hmm. And you have all the information, the books. You can contact us directly. Um, and also you can find us on Instagram. It's the friendly books. Yes. And also on Facebook. But I'm, I'm more uh, active on Instagram than Facebook. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think those were all the things. And definitely, guys, I mean, I like photography. I'm a personal... Uh, I personally like photography, I like videography, and these images are very nice. They're really pretty, they're sharp, they're clean. In all the books, they give you information. If you like history of St. Martin, or just general information about St. Martin, they give a little bit of that. They give a little bit of nice images. Cameron's images is a local artist. The complete book is his photography with local poets that contributed, myself included. So if you want to, you know, say your bite because my poem, I mean, they'll go ahead, that's okay. Um, but definitely support the initiative that is all about celebrating St. Martin and its culture. Sure. And, it, and also if you want to participate and share some of your own, own images, pictures, yes. all images, you can contact us on the, on the different website on Instagram and I will be very, very pleased to share your pictures. See, so you just contact him and you can be a part of all the artwork. Sure. Tom, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Here. Thank you very much for having me. It, the time went quickly. It wasn't it's, so bad. Yeah, no, it was great. <laughs> so fast. Thank you so much, I have much, a lot of Tom. to say more, but it's, it's all right. <laughs> you can come back another time when you have with, the next book and then we can talk about it. With pleasure. It. Yeah, no nice. problem. <laughs> Guys, that was Sit, Sip and Chat. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being here with us. We'll see you at the next one.